Hey, welcome to the end of October, and we have moved fall, and we might be moving towards winter, but let's hope it's a couple months away. I am standing here, and what's exciting for me is, based upon some uh, construction bids we had last week, we are going to be all set to go at the November board meeting for approval of our mobile facilities. A year from now, you're going to have a soccer field, a track, softball, baseball fields, and an indoor facilities for our students here. I am so excited about that, and that couldn't have happened without a Board of Education and our finance team. You know, six years out of being uh, coming out of control of the state, right now our, our Moody Investment Service ranks an A2, which is an A for you and me, not quite A+, but we're gonna get there, and we have a real stable financial outlook. That allows us to do some of the great things that we're doing for uh, the other facilities at Robinson High, at Baker, at College Station, at Harris, and the mills at cap campuses so we're real excited now as we go into fall in a couple weeks i just want to give you some uh, opportunities for information coming is that the state's going to release the report cards and and school grades and we know that the pandemic had affected achievement across the nation um, like the rest of the country we have a few campuses that are, are in desperate need of support and we made changes even starting last year uh, to increase uh, student achievement and awareness for their families now Given all that, in the state of Arkansas last year, 60% of schools increased their ESSA score, uh, and that's the ESSA score that they use for the grade um, for achievement. In Pulaski County, 85% of our schools increased their ESSA scores. And, and let me share with you that our middle schools are now above pre-pandemic achievement. And in fact, we've got one a West Side Middle School that is certainly one of the better achieving uh, middle schools and so, or secondary schools uh, in central Arkansas. So we're really proud of the work there. We have a couple standout schools out in the Sherwood area that are that are new to a high performance and we have our traditional schools that have maintained their high performance. As we go into winter, we want everyone to enjoy. Um, in these times, we are thankful for our families as we've seen a, a great increase in enrollment. First time in four years that we think we're about between 400 increased. And we we're hoping to see, uh, because the state looks at three quarters uh, of achievement as an average, we we're hoping to see a continued increase as we move through the year. Again, thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for the work you're doing. And families, thank you for choosing PCSSD.